welcome back to Pop Around Channel. We're going to pop around in Petaboon to visit Kaukar this time. Explore Sukata Historical Park on bicycle. Discover the exotics, experience Thai local lifestyle, and enjoy the taste of Thailand. Khao Kha is located in Pechabun province, around one hour away by plane from Bangkok. This time, we book AirAsia to Pitanulok Airport and hired a transport straight to our hotel, because unfortunately, there's no direct flight to Pechabun. We booked a room at a highly rated at 4.5 stars on TripAdvisor the Blue Sky Resort at Khao Kong because they seem to offer a reasonable rate and their properties looked amazing on the website. In reality, it looks very dreamy as though they want to imitate European architecture and landscape. Khao Kha is mostly known to locals for scenic mountain views and sea clouds, which often happen during the beginning of wet season. Most people travel by car and camp over the hilltop to wake up and experience scenic views of sea clouds. One of the places you should miss is Prathat Pass on Gao Temple, with its exotic architecture and decorations. You'll find the exterior of the buildings and stairs ornate and well decorated with broken pieces of pots and chinaware. People seem to come from all over the place to visit this temple to donate, pay respect to the Buddha statues and monks here. Other than this exotic temple and camping on the hilltop, there are quite plenty of things to do here in Khao Kha. Like visiting botanical gardens, royal residence, the wind farm, and their pick-your-own strawberry farm. The Pinolate Cafe is also listed as one of Khao Kha attractions and an Instagram-worthy spot. Pinolate offers fantastic food and drinks with a very attractive mountain view and plenty of seats. It is a perfect place to enjoy a meal with family and friends. Another restaurant we want to recommend is Krua Rai Song Rao. This restaurant belongs to Rai Song Rao Resort, which is fairly local. And the good thing about the local restaurant is the taste. You will get to have an authentic Thai food cooked from locally picked ingredients. I ordered this amazing Tom Yum Giant Prawn, which is one of Thailand's most famous dishes. The other dish you shouldn't miss is the crispy fish in tasty tamarind sauce. Tamarind is known as local product of Pechabun province. In 
Sai Song Rao Resort, we found some really weird flowers that made us tilt our heads and came back for a closer look at them. The Blue Sky Resort is also listed as one of the attractions. They have created a European style landscape and buildings that deliberately made the place look magical and reachable for locals. The property itself also opens for tourism with entrance fees, with its photogenic settings, European and Thai food, live music. afternoon tea. This place attracts loads of Thai tourists and Instagrammers. We spent most of the time in this beautiful resort. Even though the place was swarmed with ladies in dress and hat Instagrammers, because we found that even so, there are plenty of space, food and drinks to enjoy. Plenty of peaceful, chilling spots for us to enjoy in. This lovely pathway leads to the viewpoint in the back of the resort. The walk was very pleasant and romantic, looking down to the secret garden of the resort and its dreamy setting. And once you reach the top, there are plenty of seats with cushions, pretty swings, and giant hammocks to lay down on to enjoy their spectacular mountain views. 